First impressions do count. I wish they didn't. I pretend like they don't. We live in an era where they say, don't judge a book by its cover and all of these things. And yet we all make purchases every single day based on our first impression. So first impression is paramount. Okay. So first and foremost, what is your first impression? I need you to get very clear on this because again, once you get very clear, everything else falls into place. What is your personal brand? Okay. Now, so for me in my company, we have a personal brand that looks like this. Your hair is clean back and clean back means it's either gelled or it's polished back or it's pulled back. It's going to be in a tight bun or something on your head that doesn't drop hairs while you're cleaning. That is part of our company brand at Savvy Cleaner. As far as earrings and jewelry goes, it's got to be something small, smaller than the size of a dime. All right. What else do you wear? We wear polo shirts. That is part of our company brand. They are polo shirts with a collar. That is part of our company brand because we speak to a certain clientele. If we come in looking rock bottom of the barrel, like, oh, I just rolled out of bed and I've got like, you know, some sloppy t-shirt on or something. It's difficult for you to ask for a certain fee because what you're showing up as is I don't respect the fee I'm commanding. Okay. So we always dress to the highest level of this is probably the, the dressiest, comfortable shirt that I can wear and sweat in all day, every day. And it's made of polyester and microfiber so that it wears well. It's color fast. It doesn't fade. It always looks nice. I can brighten it up with OxyClean. I can wear it year in and year out. It's very durable. It wicks away sweat. It's wrinkle resistant. It's all of the things we need for the brand. Okay. So it is a particular choice. So I don't care what you use, but it needs to be a particular choice.